So here's the uh, lightweight and small Faluas bicycle again. And in a previous video I told you I was going to replace the Shimano Positron derailleur with this uh, Sachs Torpedo 3 speed hub. Although this uh, wheel needs a, a bit of work. There's a spoke missing and there might be an issue with this uh, hub. I'm not really sure but I will have to open it up first and that will be done in another video because I'm trying to make my videos a bit shorter while we wait for me to finish with uh, that rear wheel I think we should first uh, replace the front wheel and I believe there's nothing wrong with this wheel spoke tension feels good and it is still spinning through. This bicycle does use skewers. Hopefully this will not be a problem. But I guess there's only one way to find out. I will definitely need to use a bracket for the uh, drum brake reaction arm but luckily I do have one that also came from that multi-cycle 2 or 600 so there's no need to use a uh, ugly hose clamp here we go hopefully this will fit it might be a little bit wider but that's not a problem very close but I might need to follow this out a bit so far I haven't done any filing and it fits very nicely and the width of the axle is also uh, perfect so here's a serrated uh, washer and a uh, acorn nut to keep things uh, in place I'll nip this up and I will not uh, have to worry that uh, the front wheel is coming out. After all I'm not doing any cross country or mountain biking. Next I need to install a bracket for the uh, brake reaction arm. There's not a huge amount of room between the fork and this uh, bracket. It will be difficult to uh, mount this uh, clamp it's a lot uh, beefier than a uh, hose clamp but I think it uh, should work I might have to take out the wheel but I'll get this installed after removing the wheel and loosening up this uh, mudguard stay it is uh, rather easy to slide over the uh, bracket now I'm not sure on which side of the fork I want to mount the uh, bracket this side or that side I guess I will find out later when I mount the uh, brake reaction arm. Installing this little bracket is quickly becoming a bit of a nightmare. It is basically undoable to first mount the bracket and then install the wheel. So I had to uh, install them both at the same time, just slide uh, the bracket over the fork. But at this position the uh, metal of the bracket is pinching the uh, fork over here. And I haven't even installed the uh, the bolt yet. And I don't think I can fit the uh, bolt while the uh, bracket is uh, this wide open. Well, I will uh, do a bit more battle with this and uh, get this done. So this looks uh, acceptable. But I just noticed that the uh, brake lever here is on the wrong side of the uh, fork. Basically, I need to flip the wheel. And that's because I uh, looked at a Sturmy Archer setup. I guess there really is no end to my uh, stupidity. Alright, let's try this again. This time the wheel is complete with the tire. That saves me uh, from taking this, uh, this bracket out again. Because it is a nightmare to install. Let's see if I can get this thing 
this uh, axle between the uh, dropouts. I think that worked. Now I only need to nip this up and install a little bolt here. And of course the uh, mudguard stay also needs a bolt. So let's do that now. <laughs> and that was only the second take. I must be getting better. On this side of the frame, the bracket is fitting a lot better. That's tight enough. Now when I spin the wheel, it sounds like something is rubbing against the mudguard. But it definitely is not rubbing against the mudguard. There's plenty of clearance everywhere. I think it's, it's coming from inside the drum brake and it is somehow being amplified through the mudguard. Not really sure what is happening here. Maybe after using the brake a little bit this rubbing sound will go away. Because after all I have not really used this uh, wheel before. Because the multi-cycle Tour 600 didn't really ride. At least not with these wheels. Next I need to uh, remove these side pull brake calipers because I want to reuse the uh, brake lever for the drum brake and that means uh, replacing the, uh, the brake cable this bolt is uh, keeping the brake uh, caliper, the light and the mudguard it's pretty busy down here looks like this, uh, this bolt is attached to the uh, brake caliper so I need to find something different I found a nice long M6 bolt and now I can fasten up the mudguard again and the, uh, the headlight it's actually a bit too long but it's not uh, in contact with the uh, frame so it'll be fine I really need to get a better tripod for low angle shots because this is as low as my tripod can go and I do have a uh, one of those flexible thingies but I don't feel like uh, changing the tripod every time I need a low angle shot Yeah, that bolt is really almost a centimeter too long. I guess it doesn't hurt anything, but it's not pretty. All right, next I'm going to flip the bicycle, and then I can uh, replace the uh, the brake cable. This here is the original cable that has a uh, pear-shaped cable end. It is also very short. And it is not usable for my new drum brake setup. And this here is the original cable from the multi-cycle. Um, both ends. This, uh, this was on the uh, brake lever. And this here was on the, uh, the wheel end. Or the drum brake. It's kind of weird because there are two different cable ends. On one cable was this crimped. I don't know, it's a bit confusing. But I will cut off this one that was originally on the, uh, uh, the uh, brake lever and then turn the cable around and use this, uh, this end on the uh, current brake lever. I think that should work. These are the bits that were on the uh, cable end on the drum brake side. I'm not sure if this was crimped on or if this was a factory made. And this is what I'm planning to use. Well at least I'm planning to use this end piece because it has a normal screw and it is something I can understand. 
and hopefully I can get this loose. While that piece fits, and now the cable. Man, there's another one of those flying lawnmowers overhead. They should close that little damn airport sooner than later. Go mow your lawn instead of flying around in a lawnmower. You can hear them? I hate them. Hopefully that is tight enough. Let's see if this works. So for now, this will have to do. A little bit more tension. A little tie wrap to make it look a little better. And I guess now it is time to find out if this uh, fork can handle the uh, forces from a drum brake because in my experience a drum brake like this is harder on a front fork than a um, rim brake I'm not sure if you can hear this but there is definitely some play in the headset so this is something that uh, will have to be addressed before I can take this bicycle out for a test ride This uh, locking ring was definitely not tight enough. After adjusting the headset bearings, it feels a lot better. And now it is time for my uh, test ride. But I'm sorry, I'm not going to bring my camera because I cannot test the brake and uh, film at the same time. So it's a couple of days later. And I had my test drive, and I'm reasonably happy with the result. Sure, I could notice uh, that the uh, uh, drum brake was uh, putting more strain on the front fork, but at least it wasn't as bad as with my uh, other uh, drum brake bicycles. So yeah, I can definitely uh, go forward with this project. Um, although I must say this uh, short. Uh, seat post tube put a lot of uh, extra strain on my knees. I did find another longer aluminium seat post But it's a tenth almost a tenth of a millimeter figure So I'm thinking about turning this down on the lathe Maybe using a little bit of uh, emery cloth I can uh, polish this down to a fitting dimension and then uh, my knees will thank me. I got the uh, guts out of the uh, Sachs torpedo hub and uh, cleaned it all. And as far as I can tell, this thing is still working. But yeah, it is a bit hard to uh, bench test uh, this thing. I definitely need a new uh, cone. And then I will reassemble everything with some grease and oil. And then it's time to install this thing in my uh, followers bicycle. But that will be a subject for another video, because this one is already long enough. So like, subscribe, yada yada yada, and uh, to be continued.